we sometimes see that some of the language schools out there, they just, oh, English is an instrument, it's a tool, you use it and that's it. But that's not really it. English opens doors and opens your eyes. As well. have to but I started to think about the students perspective about some things and also to respect those perspectives and not say this is right and this is wrong but to respect different points of views so the class is more open now to people who want to express themselves and that's really important when learning a, a second language because you do not uh, want only to I don't know introduce yourself you want to talk about stuff right and that includes every kind of stuff, uh, religion, sex, uh, genders. Yes, I think when you understand that critical literacy is not just uh, a class one or two classes, but critical literacy is a spread yes, during the semester. I mean, you must create an environment that uh, create possibilities. Uh, for me now, critical literacy is just about uh, sharing information, sharing different views, and sharing different uh, life conditions. Some people say that critical literacy is an approach or a method, but I like to tell it like a perspective. It's something that leads your path, leads your way. And the difference is that some of the other modes, methods, or approaches are solely focused on linguistic skills of the language like English is just a language you need to speak but you just don't need to focus on speech what you're going to speak why you're speaking like that what are your ulterior motives on your speech those are also important aspects of the English language that I always like to focus on my teachings for the students well, when I'm teaching English I'm not only learning some linguistics or teaching some linguistic aspects but I'm also showing my identity I'm sure that I come from a place I have some conceptions I have my own formation I have my own ideas and when I'm speaking I'm also showing the people these ideas these conceptions right. when I was introduced to the perspective of critical literacy it really transformed my teaching because I had this notion of I need to make my student a better person through English and it, it is possible but a critical person is the one that sees everything detailed and with different visions and perspectives and getting into CCC he didn't think about this kind of issues important issues like politics uh, abortion homosexuality and it seems like that and about his point of views as well uh, the conceptions about it he just wanna play he just wanna I play games, he didn't do, he didn't care about this kind of issues. Then, when he got into CCC after the discussion, he saw that it's sometimes important to discuss about it, reflect about it, see different point of views, uh, rethink our conceptions, rethink the way we see the reality. And this is also important uh, because it makes us to struggle for our aims. Well, at first, some of the students that uh, they are not really used like, oh, my opinion matters. So that's like quite a shock for them to say, oh my God, the student, the, the teacher, he wants me to tell the class my, my views, my world. And they get really excited sometimes. Well, it can backfire sometimes because they tend to, oh my God, I don't want to express my opinion here. People might judge me. But is that why are they going to judge you? It's those notions that the critical literacy want you to explore. And the, the students love it in the end because they feel important. They feel that, that the language can be used to change and transform the meanings of the people around them. Uh, at first, when I uh, first uh, heard about critical literacy uh, and read the first text, I had a different perspective because I thought was everything was very like impossible to do it in a, for example, basic one, uh, English for basic one students, and I thought it was really impossible to do it because it was something very uh, restricted or restricted or something very impossible to reach. And one of my students from basic one, she put 
uh, teacher because I think the education is good for the population. Yes, it's a very important profession. She put this and she is a basic human student. Yeah, uh, I think that I could take this sentence and take this sentence to the class after the test and discuss about it. You know, she could speak in English. She was clear. Clear is this way? Clearly clear. Yeah, she was clear. And she uh, wrote something that I could use to share with my students. And if they agree, they don't agree. Why? Why she had this conception of the, the, the teachers? You know, I think that if you give students the, the, the vocabulary and the time to reflect about these quests, these issues, they will be able to speak in English. Well, critical literacy. You have to respect that difference and that, that position also. If they're not feeling comfortable to answer, as long as, as long they are listening to the, the other students talk, they're still learning. They're still learning. Even if well, at first, I have to introduce the basic vocabulary to that subject. For example, religion. So I talk about crosses, Jesus, and the saints, whatever. And so, basically, I introduce the vocabulary, and then I make them question, question themselves about this, um, how can I say, their beliefs, right, about this thing. If they really thought about it, and they have a, an opinion, a really good opinion about it and then that question becomes a sparkle they become they begin to discuss so that's with them they just sparkle and they start talking